Hey guys, Steve here from Board Games Review with another recommendation to help cure your boredom. This week's game is the Blockbuster Party Game. You know what? It's really fun. Come on, check it out. I think you're going to like it. First, we'll go over everything that comes with the game. Everything comes in this VHS cassette styled box. Inside that box is a large deck of yellow movie cards and a smaller deck of blue head to head cards. The game board itself is pretty cool. It's designed after a Blockbuster parking lot, and on the board is one word, quote it, and act it, which we'll explain a little later. It also comes with this easy to learn pamphlet with all the rules on how to play, and of course this little timer here, where if you press it once you'll get 15 seconds, if you press and hold it you'll get 30 second timer. Gameplay in this game is pretty simple. First, the teams will split up and they'll choose one player on each team to go head to head against each other. This is where you put your best movie buff to work. When ready, a player will hit the buzzer and name a movie with a race in it. Then, the other player will do the same, and they'll go back and forth until one of the players inevitably can't name a movie with a race in it. Then, the player who did last name a movie wins, and they draw six movie cards. Then, out of those six movie cards, they choose three of those cards to use for their team and three to give to the other team. The objective in the Blockbuster Party game is to place those three cards that you chose for your team into the categories on the board that best suit it. So. For this instance, I think Zoolander should go into Act It, where you can try to act like Derek Zoolander did, while walking up and down the model runway. Then, under Quote It, I can use Dirty Harry, and try to say a quote like, Are you feeling lucky, punk? And put it under the Quote It category. And for one word here, I could use Toy Story, but it's important you don't say words like toy or story, but I could say words like Lightyear or Woody, and see if my team would get them. The other player would do the same on their side of the board. And when ready, the first player would push and hold the timer, giving them 30 seconds to try to get their team to guess the three movies that they chose. And once done, and they still had time left over, they would have a chance to go to the other side and steal movies from them. So as you can see here, it's American Werewolf in London. Let's say it's a little too hard, I don't know it very well. I'm gonna go to the next one, and it's quoted. So let's say I do know a quote from Princess Bride, I say it and I get that one, I leave it face up, and I go to the next one here, I still have some time left, and all of a sudden, bam, my buzzer goes, and now I gotta stop. Although I could have got it, I have to leave it face down for the other team to guess. The way to win in the Blockbuster Party game is to be the first team to collect eight different genres, and all these face up ones I have here I would take at the end of my round. So, the eight different genres are all time classic, drama, animation, comedy, family, action, horror, and sci-fi and fantasy. And once your team has collected all eight of these different genres, you win. And it's simple as that. And you'll notice that there's lots of different movies. They really do a good job of giving you a big deck of different movies that are very popular from old ones to new ones. It, it does really sweep around. It's not just old movies. It doesn't feel outdated. A lot of them are classics that you have seen. I think probably 90 plus percent of these movies I saw. And also the head to head cards here you can see are pretty good. All in all, the, one of my favorite things about this game is that the cards themselves really do hold a lot of value just on their own. We don't do ratings here at Board Games Review, just a simple yes, no, maybe. And this one I gotta give a yes. The amount of times that people have walked by and seen it on the shelf and grabbed it and said we have to try this is, is staggering. It's probably the most out of all my games. And I, obviously it's because the blockbuster is very appealing. But then once they play it, they enjoy it. We, they ask to play it again. We've it's a, it's a returning game. It comes off the shelf a lot, surprisingly, especially during parties. Overall, between the replayability and the sheer mass of cards it comes with that are fun to use, I think this would be a great addition to anybody's board game collection. Well guys, I'm Steve from Board Games Review. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications for weekly recommendations. But if you're bored, you gotta come check me out.